Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Human News. Today is July the 8th, 2021. We are here to talk about Bitcoin Cash. You guys can see from my screen that we did a price prediction recently and the market didn't necessarily go the way that we expected it to go. So I'm going to break that down to you so we can continue to learn about how we got their prediction kind of incorrect, but then learn from it so that we can also be not caught off guard the next time that the market moves against us. So if today's your first time ever seeing our video and our content, you guys appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button, share and subscribe here to the channel. It is our purpose. It is our premise to ensure that everyone in our community is more viable, more powerful, more competitive when they come into the cryptocurrency space in regards to winning and profiting out the market. All right. So make sure you do that before you all leave this video. If you find it very, very valuable. All right. So now real quick. Um, last time we did our price prediction Bitcoin cats was not long ago, you know, June the 10th, 2021. And we expected the market to give us some strength. You know, we expected it to go a little bit higher in price and the market only topped out on June the 15th, 2021. And the high of that particular day was only $650. And since then, the price in Bitcoin cash, in fact, continued to go lower in price. I'm not necessarily sure what we said our TP was. Uh, you guys can check out our video, though. It is in our playlist, so you will not miss out on anything that was said or anything that was mentioned on that particular prediction. So either way I go, the market 19 and a half percent right now. If you were to get out this particular prediction right now, so it goes that way, you won't get them all correct all the time. But just wanted to show you all that that has occurred in the market for Bitcoin Cash. And seeing that the market did not give us what we expected it on this last price prediction right here, it kind of gives us a little bit more information as to, okay, since the market in Bitcoin Cash is not giving us the strength that we expected, then that leaves that one off the table, right? We, we don't expect the price to give us any strength then because the market is not going to lie to us. The market always shows forth what is consensus of the space. And if it's not willing to go higher in price, I mean, what other option do we have? Either the market continues to trade sideways or we continue to drop continue to go lower in price all right so let me take that away uh 19 and a half 19.57 percent loss in that prediction so now first things first uh, you guys can still tell as i zoom out on this price chart for bitcoin cash that the market is still breaking that ascended line so that is another credible type of information to let us know that the overall market in bitcoin cash is not strong neither okay we have not been able to see the price in Bitcoin Cash break back up above that overall trend that this particular cryptocurrency was going through. So, yeah, we're not bullish into the market of Bitcoin Cash. Don't let anyone come through the market and try to tell you anything different until we see this price in Bitcoin Cash come back up above this long term ascending line. OK, so right now um, we can really expect the market in Bitcoin Cash to continue to give us some sideways trading. One of the things I wanted to show you is back here in february 2020 the market in bitcoin cash trading around 500 dollars, 490 dollars. it was acting as restriction and then we can take it all the way back since june 2019 that bitcoin cash was utilizing this particular number as restriction so we need to see the market in bitcoin cash trade above this line trade above 500 dollars in order for us to continue to see the prospect of higher movement if we can't then we understand that that is definitely more weight into the market pressure that's going to push down the value of Bitcoin Cash. So let's see what's the prob probability of that occurring in Bitcoin Cash to see us break up above 490 to 500 dollars. We need to see that happen. So this is the two day time frame in the market in Bitcoin Cash. And actually, you know, over the last couple of two day price bars, let me circle this for you. You guys can tell that we've seen a lot of selling go on in this space, right? We haven't seen any indication that this market is willing to give us demand or interest or even the push to go higher. We're not seeing that yet on the two day time frame. This is the three day time frame as well. And every one of us can see how this restriction line is plaguing the market and Bitcoin cash are going higher. Now we got 14 hours left and 11 minutes in order for this current three day price bar to end. And right now, it is still showing us a lot of weakness in Bitcoin Cash. So if you're a bull into the market in Bitcoin Cash, I'm here to tell you that the market is not really giving us that. OK, I'm going to be real with you. Right. I need to 
be honest and show forth what is we're getting on the chart. I don't want to pull your leg. I don't want to give you any FOMO. I don't give you any FUD. We need to talk about what's really going on into the market so that we can all be prepared on where we're anticipating the price to go. And you can see a little bit better here, even on the five day time frame. You see that? This five day price bar going back since June the 5th, 2021, Bitcoin Cash was utilizing this number, 440, I'm sorry, $545 as support. It did it for three consecutive five day price bars, but then we broke that $545 price level to the downside. And now we're going through four five day price bars to where the market in Bitcoin Cash cannot break up above that number. So. All of that is indicating that the weakness into the market in Bitcoin Cash is definitely prevalent. It is dominating the space right now, and we're going to continue to work that out as we see this market trade in Bitcoin Cash going on to the future. OK, so let me go ahead and do a prediction into the market. Um, looking at this on a weekly time frame, <clears throat> if the market can hold five hundred dollars, four hundred ninety dollars, therefore support, we're going to try to come back down here towards 445 okay 445 dollars to 400 dollars even that's why i'm looking for the market in bitcoin cash to try to test and see support okay we have again 445 back down to 400 okay so let me go ahead and do this real quick um 445 would be the first area that would be around 8.61% movement to the downside, back down to 400, which is about 18%. Okay. Now, again, take a look at the chart. I mean, it's not dramatic, but when you say 18%, yeah, you might get some people who will be emotional because you said 18% movement to the downside. But when you look at the gist of it, the market in Bitcoin Cash has been just pretty much trading within this range, right? We've just been bouncing. In between 560, 570, back down to 400, there's nothing that we haven't seen before in Bitcoin Cash. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play the weakness into the market in Bitcoin Cash. Uh, let me reiterate: uh, first area is going to be like five. I'm sorry, 445 dollars. First area TP, all the way back down to 400. Okay, so that's it. I want you all to tell me though. I mean, what are you seeing on the chart? Do you see anything different? Are you still playing in weakness or are you a bull into the market of Bitcoin Cash for the next two weeks? Right. Tell me what is your prediction? Right. Because one of the best competitive advantage we have is being able to predict and forecast where price is going to go so that we can get in position and win in this space. So this is what we're seeing. As always, you're a part of our team. We want you all to leave us a comment in the comment section and tell us where do you think the price a Bitcoin cash is going to go in the next two weeks. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.